In the name of Almighty God, I call to the heart of the great central sun. Beloved mighty I am presence, beloved holy Christ self of each one. Beloved spirit of the great white brotherhood, seal now this tend to the mighty solar ring. I call for the power of beloved Sanat Kumara, the seven holy Kumaras, beloved Gautama Buddha, beloved Lord Maitreya, beloved Jesus and Kathumi, beloved Saint Germain, beloved Archangel Michael, beloved Archangel Jophiel, beloved Samuel, beloved Gabriel, beloved Raphael, Uriel, Zanku, Elohim of God, Elohim of God, Elohim of God, come forth now and seal north, south, east, and west. By the mighty action of the sacred fire, the invincible protection of the mighty tomb of light, we call for the power of the living flame of love. Let the power of love prevail. Let the power of love consume now the cause and color of all anti-love, all witchcraft or black magic, all voodoo or incantations or prayers of mal intent. Mighty Astraeum, mighty Astraeum, mighty Astraeum, encircle the cause and core of all hate and hate creation, directed against the violet flame, and beloved Omri Toss, seal now the mighty action of the sacred fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, peace be still, peace be still, peace be still, peace be still. In the name of the I am that I am, we call forth the mighty light of the own. We call now the power and the protection of Aramis and Diana, Aries and Thor, Neptune and Luara, beloved Virgo and Palur. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit and the Mother, lo, I am that I am, Amen. Dein ist mein ganzes Herz, wo du nicht bist, kann ich nicht sein. So wie die Blume welkt, wenn sie nicht küsst, dem Sonnenschein. Einmal mein 
Angels of the violet flame, legions of the sun, we are Omri Tus, and in the heart of the violet planet, there is joy this day, there is the release of light, and of sacred fire, and of freedom, for the emerging light of those in whom the flame of freedom burns ever more brightly on planet earth we as priests and priestesses of the sacred fire minister to all life on the seventh ray and we have offered our office in support of lord gautama buddha lord of the world for the increase of transmutation, for the elevation of the earth, and especially in this hour, for the binding of the forces of opposition, to the education of the heart, in the hearts of all evolutions of earth, from our perspective, knowing what the release of the violet flame can do for a single life and an entire planetary life wave we realize that it is the education of the heart itself that is wanting and which if each life stream had from birth would enable that one to so easily draw down the violet flame from the i am presence and then watch the violet flame and the elementals and the violet flame angels perform those tasks which mankind consider drudgery beloved ones have you thought about the fact that there is a labor crisis on planet earth have you thought about the fact that many people are educated far above the jobs they are required to take have you considered the fact that many nations are so educated that they must import workers from other nations and in many cases these workers are of an order of an, and an evolution such as those who migrated to Atlantis in the last days laggard life waves who ultimately tipped the balance and were a major factor in the sinking of that continent do you understand when a single people and a karmic group cannot provide for all of the necessities of life when they begin intermingling with those evolutions which have a separate karma and dharma and a duty to fulfill such as those life waves in the middle east that are being imported by the thousands and have been throughout the continent of, of europe that this commingling of the races causes a breaking down of the perception of the dharma that is the duty that is to be fulfilled and it also is an interference with each of these groups balancing their karma beloved ones on the violet planet you see the violet flame itself is the action of the sacred fire for transmutation and that which is necessary in this hour as you hear elemental life expressing their ability to transmute this takes place with and by the violet flame now therefore the christ consciousness does accelerate on earth 
and even so, there is an over-education of the carnal mind, leaving behind and creating a gap for individual life streams to accelerate in their sacred labor and also to master the work of their hands. This absence of balance is one of the major factors in the balancing of the economy today. Now I am sounding the OM, which I have taken for my name, and you may sound it with me for the harmony of elemental life. Beloved ones, I direct your attention to this understanding that through the balanced action of the seven rays, the evolutions of Earth can move forward. The violet flame is the necessary key and ingredient to the problem of labor and to the sanctification of that labor on planet Earth. We see the problems in the economy. We see those who have performed services no longer in demand because of technology advancing beyond the attainment of the heart. The heart, therefore, is the seat and the point for the issue of the violet flame and the violet flame angels and the elementals who serve with the violet flame angels 
have a great and intense desire in this hour to make known to you how important it is that this violet flame and the understanding thereof must spread abroad in the earth so that once again by the education of the heart by the activities that the sons and daughters of God ought to be engaged in the true office of angels and elementals might be performed we have told you in previous dictations that our homes are cleansed by the violet flame the purification of the atmosphere the removal of debris all necessities of life can be taken care of by the action of the violet flame we have from our home of violet flame the violet flame planet 144,000 priests of the sacred fire who perform the ceremonies and the rituals of the violet flame can you imagine such a body of 144,000 priests keeping the flame the violet flame burning in absolute God purity as their singular calling these priests operate as the priesthood of Melchizedek beloved ones were such a body to be assembled on earth you would see a great great difference today the imbalance of forces that cannot be contained by these elementals who do not express themselves with full God mastery because of the burden of world hatred they must expiate through unleashing the elements these elementals require a greater support of the violet flame and the will of God to be of service to you in the hours and days ahead when the physical planetary conditions will be even more burdensome and more out of balance unless greater numbers espouse the sacred ritual of daily decrees to the violet flame and these decrees must of necessity incorporate those actions of the blue flame challenging the black magicians that would enslave not only elementals but embodied angels and the children of the light to thwart the purposes of the great white brotherhood due to the absence of the violet flame we see imbalance in nature and due to this imbalance in nature not checked by the violet flame you see the imbalance in the psyche you see great mounting conditions of psychological problems divisions within the self within the four lower bodies you see moodiness moroseness the split personality as you say and then you see the body affected as because the environment is not balanced by the violet flame through the threefold flame of the heart there is the resulting imbalance in the chemistry of the body some have wondered what is the use of the violet flame in a golden age or a place of perfection the violet flame establishes and re-establishes the rhythm of life it is like the oil in the gears it is a very special quality that all have need of daily as you need the sun and the many frequencies of the stars and the earth currents and the air and the water and the power of integration with all of these we say therefore that our assistance to Gautama Buddha to the mighty Elohim and the archangels does come because we have understood that the saving grace of all planetary homes and of every life stream is this missing link it is almost a missing link in the chain of evolution and so you can see 
how evolution, as it were, is out of whack. With the lunging forward of some talents and skills, while other parts of the human being remain almost at the primitive state, primitive states of anger and passions, of hatred, rivalry, and life based upon self-preservation. We perceive that our help to Gautama Buddha must now be extended to beloved Hideo San Vesta and to the entire spirit of the Great White Brotherhood serving Earth's evolutions and especially to the Chilas. We perceive that in order to keep the vow you have made to implement the plan of Helios and to call forth his judgment and to serve with the great divine director and the Darjeeling Council to implement those ideas he has released to you at inner levels and in order for you to draw down the divine memory of your experience in the heart of the sun greater momentum of violet flame must therefore come to you we are also aware that the challenge of, a, of doing all that must be done in a given day is very great when the few have the vision of heaven itself and a golden age almost manifesting and see as well the imminence of world destruction and know just how fragile hangs together the economies and the various systems of industry and the exchange of goods how precarious life is this too you understand and you also know of life streams who are called terrorists and those like them who will stop at nothing to get even this is as you have also been told the psychology of the fallen angels who have deified evil the energy veil and therefore are called devils and they are not alive but of the living dead and they themselves who have the morality and psychology of get even at any price place before the children of the light and the sons and daughters of God who see and know the meaning of their absolute dedication to absolute evil places before you therefore beloved hearts the extraordinary challenge of finding the balance of service this balance of course is found in your threefold flame and in the heart you must of necessity become spiritual beings you say why we are spiritual beings Saint Germain has told us yes but in your actions in your contemplations in your outlook you are still materialists and this is why there is the sense of struggle when you espouse the life of holiness and recognize that a planet and a people depends on the nourishment of holiness you will discover the true priorities and also you will discover a wellspring from on high that allows you to accomplish more in less time and therefore to indeed fulfill your physical responsibilities while remaining as it were a closet priest of the sacred fire a closet priestess of the violet flame it is not necessary to walk about in robes of the ancient of days but it is indeed necessary to keep the flame thus mindful that there are other circumstances interfering with the accomplishment of that which is at hand I still desire to assist you with a dispensation of violet flame I will discuss this dispensation even as I must first point out to you that disorder lack of system lack of going over the lists of responsibilities you have 
fulfilling them, checking them, checking those for whom you are responsible, does result in unnecessary delay in the cosmic timetable of the activity in your life and in the path of the ascension. Order is the first law of the mother, and the mother is prepared to give to you from her immaculate heart, even the mother of Jesus, a course of instruction on organization, administration, and management of yourself. But it all boils down to common sense and to thinking in logical order and to arranging your life systematically. Those who are the achievers have learned to do this, and those who achieve not and become a weight moving in the opposite direction are those who have never quite determined to challenge their own confusion and the rebellion that is behind the confusion, for it is a rebellion against the order of God and ultimately against God as mother who must order the entire matter cosmos. Now, beloved ones, an absence of ordering of the day may be a factor in your not invoking the violet flame, even as time itself seems to escape those who have not taken the opportunity to master its cycles, and space itself becomes cluttered in the homes of those who have not yet determined to master the laws of space, acknowledging that space is the mastery of the Buddha. Then, beloved ones, through failure to use properly these ingredients and resources of life, what suffers is the decree momentum, and what will ultimately suffer is the planetary body. I will explain it to you, beloved hearts, for my remarks are not given in any way to make you feel downhearted or in any way self-critical, but only to point to the fact that because you desire to give more, I point out those areas of life which if you place your attention upon them, you shall be able to give more. Beloved ones, elemental life is required not only to maintain the cycles of the four quadrants in a planetary home of perfection, but they are also required to bear the karma of a planet and to be the instruments of transmutation by their own bodies and by the elements themselves when the violet flame is not readily flowing in sufficiency to perform that task. Some of you know that you personally are doing the work of two or five or ten people. You do it gladly and joyfully, for you recognize the urgency of the hour. Others, however, I am sorry to say, do not even fulfill the requirements of one life for the failure to intensify the application of their heart's love to the work at hand. And still others, by their own absence of resolution of their psychology, cannot think of anything to do cannot think of what their job should be, their calling, their profession, or where they should direct their attention. This is amazing to us when we see a planet in such suffering and so many people in need. One has but to turn around and one will see five mouths to feed and this to clean up and that task to be accomplished. And thus, you see, it is the absence of perception, which is an absence of integration of the chakras and the heart flame. And this comes back to the imbalanced threefold flame and the lack of the violet flame. The violet flame tunes the seat of the soul chakra. And at that point of the seat of the soul, one knows who I am, where I have come from, where I am going, and what is the work that is assigned to me in this life. There are oh so many life streams upon earth who know they have a definite assignment, a divine plan, a mission, and a calling, and they even know what it is. But because it is difficult, it requires effort, application, and they know there is opposition to it or persecution, they say, well, let someone else do that job. I will take this one. 
not realizing that they back down the stepladder of initiation three or four steps, taking an easy way, leaving the vacancy at the point where they should be mastering life, with the excuse that someone else will do it, and in fact, no one else does do it, and there is one more hole in the mighty veil of the cosmic virgin that is the matrix for all life on earth, a filigree veil of magnificent design worn by the cosmic virgin portrays the life pattern for all souls in the matter cosmos. Beloved ones, there is a divine plan and the task that is yours and yours alone is difficult. It must be difficult. It is given to you in order that you can transcend your last life or the activities of a decade ago. You are here in embodiment to pursue the calling of excellence. You must overcome. It is the law of cosmos. This is spiritual evolution. Your soul must increase in magnitude, putting on greater light and wisdom. You will not get this, but by performing the task you have done for the past ten embodiments, which is easy, requires no thought, no effort, you can cease to think, cease to create, and almost cease to be, and perform that same task, and say to yourself, I'm earning enough money to support my family. Everything's okay in my life. Here I am. I don't have to worry about war. I don't have to worry about planetary conditions. Those are not my problem. I am here safe in my little house. And I can do what I will do. And I can enjoy myself and have good times with my friends and my children. You see, beloved ones, the effort that must be expended to perform the mission is the same effort that must be expended to win the next level of initiation. You consider in wonder the great master Saint Germain or El Moria or Kuthumi. If you would do less worshipping and more analyzing of their embodiments and understand what they have gone through, you would realize how hard they worked to gain every little step of the way, pressing back that world consciousness and that darkness, and in some cases in one life, making only one statement and one increase for humanity. In other lifetimes, only holding the balance for that which had already been gained. And yet, it was a great striving, a great sacrifice, a great self-discipline. These qualities are not considered virtues, nor are they taught in the classrooms of the West. But always, can you pass your test? Can you memorize these facts? Can you be at the top percentile of your nation and thereby go on? And there is a frantic vibration among parents and children. Will they make it? Will they arrive at that level where they will no longer be slaves or mere workers? Will they become the professional people? It is a mad race and it begins with children one and two years old. And by the age of five or seven, their whole life is cast in a mold by what they have achieved at that level, when at that very level the entire emphasis ought to be on the education of the heart and the power of the heart. Think of Jesus or Mother Mary, for you know the story well, of their early training in the temple, or of Samuel, who was there from his earliest years. Think of these figures who still tower above the whole race of humanity mothers and fathers of the world. If you will cease to be frantic about the intellectual development of your children and emphasize the mastery of the heart, you will see living masters stepping forth from your humble abode and you will see that you will send forth to the planet life streams who can take a stand and hold back 
whether war or the elements or the masses moving in the wrong direction to their own destruction. I speak of this because it is ever so important. I, of course, am very concerned with academic excellence, but I desire that it be learned also through the mastery of the heart that the pride of the mental body not be encouraged at such an early age. Your children will not make it if they rely on the intellect alone. The intellect ought to be considered a computer, not a sage, not a wise man. It should have available records of history and learning and individual performance accessible to the hidden man of the heart, to the soul wed thereto, and the soul one with that Christ can therefore make decisions based on attunement with cosmic cycles. And the sons of man may walk the earth as the three wise men, knowing that which is to come, for prophecy is a matter of the heart's discernment and not of psychic or intellectual prediction. I am the ruler of the violet planet. I am responsible for millions upon millions of life streams. I see and I know and I understand in the long, long history of planet Earth why Saint Germain has come to so emphasize in the Aquarian age, the cycles of ritual and of the freedom of the spirit and the independence to create. So deadly have the ascended masters considered these systems of education that they saw to it that your own Mark Prophet did not have a higher education lest his vessels be tainted and he not be able to receive in full purity the preponderance of the word of God, which is preposterous to the intellect. Do you see? Educational institutions, while preparing mankind for the rat race, narrow the perception of the infinite until that precious opening to the universal mind of God is almost closed and the youth of the world emerge as skeptics, as communists, as fanatics, so steeped in their pride that they will no longer consider the humbleness of their Russian parents, their Chinese parents, their Japanese parents. They look with disdain upon the hearts that gave them life and whose wisdom is far more vast than the science they have supposedly mastered. Well, since the science of this planet is in such a primitive stage, I tell you from our perspective, it is no great feat to have mastered that which is known today. We must truly understand the worth of a life stream coming into embodiment. We must truly understand it is a clean white page. There is not a single person in this room, including the messenger, that does not yet bear at the human level some burden, some scar of miseducation or improper upbringing, or the attitudes of civilization. Thus, in a certain sense, each one is crippled and must overcome the mistraining according to the laws of mortality. And slowly and surely it is overcome by the violet flame. The goal of this community is to raise up parents and teachers and to create that system of education 
where that of which we are speaking is implemented and we are yet limited by those who lovingly come to serve and yet themselves must overcome certain things and therefore we tell you it will take a more concerted effort and concentration on the part of parents with teachers to do a job with these life streams that we would send you that will be acceptable to us there is that sense we have our work to do let the faculty or the staff take care of our children you cannot abdicate your responsibility parents have so little knowledge regarding the psychology of themselves so little understanding about how to truly rear life streams to become sons of God movers of men and nations that they must all one and all study to show themselves approved for this high and holy calling thus beloved ones we see how it is between two ages when those who come from the past centuries of descent of accepted human tradition must be the instrument for those who must launch a new age and begin anew therefore if you are the avant-garde then you must be avant enough you must be willing to go forward enough beyond where you have come from and not be satisfied that you have a little bit of knowledge and a little bit more wisdom than those whom you see on a daily basis do not judge your accomplishment or your self mastery by your neighbors or by the evolutions of this planet it is not a safe measure they have gone nowhere for millions of years and you will go nowhere if you continue to gauge your life stream by their standards you must seek the standard of the living word you must consider what we have been talking about for a quarter of a century and more in previous activities and you must learn to bring down to the actions of daily life the law that we are teaching you must understand that all is not well with your personal interchanges activities services educations professions jobs and skills and many of you could be doing much more with slight adjustments and a small amount of time set aside to consider how to improve oneself and one's ability to give more God consciousness to this planet beloved ones it goes back to the violet flame and I tell you though I am mindful of limitations and perhaps negligence on your part still I stand with you and I understand and I have compassion for the entire situation but I do not desire that my compassion should produce in you the excusing of oneself so easily some of you are so quick to forgive yourselves that you have not even had the time to consider the burden you have made you may have placed upon life in an act there is time for remorse there is time to consider there is time to atone and repent there is time for penance and transmutation and an absolute God freedom from the past because you have worked through the problem and you have determined to take apart and put back together again that tendency in yourself that is like the broken needle on the record player playing over and over and over again the same place and forgiving yourself over and over and over again you see you must allow God to forgive you in those instances you must let the grace of forgiveness flow from the fount of the creative self your own beloved Christ self rather than be so quick to toss about your neck 
the floral wreath. Do you understand my meaning, precious hearts? There is a time for self-correction which has nothing to do with self-condemnation. A mistake begets a joyous desire for excellence, for self-overcoming, for reaching the star, for being like El Moria. It is not a question of guilt. It is not a question of sin. It is not a question of self-flagellation. It is a realization of limitation. I will conquer. I see this. I will cut through it. I will put it behind me. You know that the great law has written that if you continue to call upon the law of forgiveness and invoke the violet flame for the same repetitious cycle of mistakes, one day the keeper of the scrolls with your own Christ self will stand before you with the announcement that the legions of the violet flame, cosmos itself, may no longer deliver to you the violet flame in answer to your call. And what's more, the full accountability of all previous misuses of the sacred fire will come home as karma on your doorstep. You cannot thwart the law. You cannot violate it. Mercy is an immense gift. It is not something that is on a shelf. It is not the next paper towel in the roll that you tear off and use again to mop up after yourself. It is a precious dispensation from God. It is given to his sons and daughters. Did you know that the fallen ones are not given the violet flame and the godless? Do you know that those individuals who have come to this activity and said, decrees do not work are right? They do not work for them because they are the godless. And they have denied the living God. They have condemned their brothers and sisters. And the law ceases to function in their lives because it is a grace and a gift that you must appreciate and show forth your gratitude to all life by giving of it more liberally and by serving. This is not a commodity that you pick up at the supermarket and just by the buying of a book and the playing of a tape, suddenly your life is now a charmed existence for the violet flame angels will clean up after you and be your servants. You see, they become your servants when they see that you are the servant of the living God and of all of humanity. Elementals honor those who honor the law. And elemental life with such precision as you have viewed by edict of the karmic board may enter a town, may deliver a tornado, which is a tornado as a vortex of returning karma of the past 10,000 years to the life streams of that town. And they may deliver destruction and certain death on nine people out of a town of three or four hundred, specifically whether child or adult, and no others will be touched. One is taken, another is left. Some in battle stand, and the one next may fall. You have heard all kinds of stories, amazing tales of conditions of weather. Elementals are sent as emissaries of the karmic board and of the Lord of the world and of Omri Tas to deliver the karmic accountability of life streams. See to it then that you do not leave yourself vulnerable to your own past karma by allowing yourself to engage in tirades of anger or hatred or emotionalism and failure to seal yourself in the violet flame and the tube of light. For that point of vulnerability may cause you to suffer loss and we desire it not. We desire not that this should come to pass. And we recognize that you have yet things to overcome. Thus, if you should fall into a trap 
or be beguiled into a trap of your human creation. Quickly call upon the law of forgiveness. Invoke your tube of light. Call to the violet flame to consume the cause, effect, record and memory and the burden caused to life by your misdemeanor. And then invoke the blue lightning angels to bind all forces known or unknown, the demons and antichrist momentums out of the pit that are just waiting for you to trip and fall so that you will be found vulnerable in a point of self-condemnation and then they will ride in and attempt to use your own karma or your own sense of guilt against you and cause those things to come upon your life that are not decreed by Almighty God but they have become decreed by yourselves because you are the lawmakers in your life and if you misuse the law you are still establishing a law for yourself and if you say I'm a miserable sinner I'm guilty I'm condemned you have decreed it it is a law and you will attract more like it and when you attract world condemnation you are attracting world destruction and not alone on yourself but your entire house some individuals who have toyed with the spiritual path but have not taken seriously the sacred fire and the law have been taken from the screen of life by their own folly their own deceit practiced toward their I am presence we must tell you these things so that you will realize that the great white brotherhood is real the office of Chila which you wear as a mantle and an undergarment is a real and living office protected by the brotherhood so long as you function within the laws of harmony thus when you are out of sorts entertaining a sense of injustice get understanding settle the matter resolve a difficulty with a friend or a foe resolve your relationship to God and seal yourself again and use the violet flame with immense sincerity and God determination not to fall in that mud hole again and be grateful that you know the law whereby you can so easily be delivered from your mistakes have integrity toward the violet flame and the violet flame angels and the Holy Spirit and the masters who have given their life for eons that you might finally rise to your God dominion let this not be cause for an individual of an unsound mind to decide not to invoke the violet flame this is not my intent or my teaching this is a backward psychology you must use the violet flame you must overcome and you must be responsible citizens of cosmos Now having delivered to you a bit of the understanding of both the simplicity and the complexity of the law, I will tell you what my dispensation is. It is this, beloved, if in all reverence within our attunement, a sense of yourself in your Christ self as priest or priestess of the sacred fire if with all your heart and deep within your heart you will take then 15 minutes each day to give profound and loving invocations to the violet flame in my name and please remember to use my name for I am the one from whose causal body this dispensation comes then we will take that offering measure for measure as it is devoted as it is profound and sincere the very weight of its power and light therefore by the quality of it quality for quality it shall be multiplied in your life ten times
Now, my beloved ones, this is the fruit of my offering unto Almighty God, as I have communed long with our Father. I have looked upon Helios, the Magnificent One. I have seen Saint Germain. I know your hearts moving against every type of adversity. I have seen your desire and the desire of Cosmos to liberate the planet. I have also seen other generations fail Saint Germain and the Ascended Masters. And I have seen the awful price these masters have had to pay in the balancing of karma made by the ones they sponsored. Just look at the rebellion of Napoleon and you will understand how one individual of 10,000 more has betrayed Saint Germain and what price Saint Germain has had to pay. And the most painful part of the price, beloved ones, is that that master is curtailed and limited in the next offering he would like to make for humanity. You see, the failure of the chila impugns the judgment of the master. And the karmic board must say to that master, you ought to have been more careful. And therefore, you are the responsible one. You will pay the price. Beloved ones, I know Saint Germain. I know the hearts of his chilas. I know Helios personally as friend, for I have sat many hours over the centuries in the home of Helios and Vesta discussing the problems of this planet and others. I know the hearts of these beings and I place myself as near to you so that you will not be awestruck in the presence of the ruler of the violet planet but understand that your own God being, your own I am presence and causal body equates with the masters of cosmos. And the only distance between us is your self-perception and your absence of diligence to put on the totality of who you already are. These things are real, but you must not become puffed up in pride, either because you know them or because you consider that you have already become that God that you are. You can still lose all. You can still become a castaway. The final decision is not made by you until you make your ascension in the light. And while you live in a mutable world and a vulnerable situation and a planet of intense Maya, you must be careful for they would like to deceive the very elect they would like to tear the one who is at the door of the home of Cyclopeia, ready to be given the highest initiation. Yes, beloved, the farther you go on the path, the more careful you must be. Having seen all of this and knowing the consequences, I am placing my causal body as the open door for this dispensation. And our Father has accepted and decreed that it may be so. And beloved ones, I am supremely and humbly grateful to be accepted by the Father in this my offering. The Brotherhood has alluded to the fact that the faithfulness of the messengers and the chilas has been of redeeming value to Saint Germain over the past 25 years. And also due to this 
and due to the advancement of the great divine director also by the role played by the chilas my request was met with favor and in my heart i have a greater conviction than those who have gone before me have had that this will not be lost or misused consider it then beloved hearts as a cosmic loan from a cosmic bank and we are co-signers of the note together i the responsible party and you the one who may have the benefit of this loan you also ultimately responsible for do not think that napoleon did not make a grave karma and that all those who have ever failed saint germain have also made a karma with that master are indebted to him and also have a serious burden to carry but you see we do not consider that we consider how we ourselves are limited in our next service rather than dwell upon that someone has received his meet and just reward for we do not desire to see individuals punished by their mistakes but only that they might learn by their mistakes nevertheless the law is inexorable and you understand this and we cannot interfere with the law except by grace or dispensation which must always go through the heart of the cosmic christ you might say that we also attempt to be wise investors of our light and where we see that light can be multiplied by investing it in an honest and healthy concern we will do so we consider you to be sincere honest trustworthy and devoted and the area we are most concerned with is that you remember the admonishment of jesus to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves many times unwittingly and unthinkingly you become harmful as serpents and as naive as doves thus leaving yourselves in a situation of suddenly becoming tools for something that is a total surprise to yourself and you are very apologetic but we cannot cry over spilt milk nor can you yet the delay has been caused now beloved ones we have determined to make this investment in the mystical body of god upon earth we have determined to give it and we give it freely and we trust that our instruction has been of value to you as one cautions a child not to put his finger in a living flame i would therefore further explain to you that in this violet flame that you give and of course you are welcome to give more than the 15 minutes but the dispensation can only start once you have given the 15 in the giving of your decrees then you may use the inserts that you use with the blue flame masters with the ruby ray decrees with the ritual of exorcism and so forth we desire that your momentum in the violet flame should reach the very heart of the priest melchizedek the very heart of the seventh ray priesthood who because of eons of invocation of the violet flame they actually operate from the center of the flame itself and the center of the flame is the white fire core of alpha and omega thus the center of the flame is the fiat of the godhead it is the thrust if you will of impetus of all the work that is accomplished then by the seventh ray the white fire core of each and every flame is the full hot and the release of that fire for the creation and the uncreation of matter is accomplished by those who become masters of the sacred fire by practice 
by exercising the flame and the decree and by absolute unself love absolute God love complemented by wisdom and the perfect devotion to the will of God is the key to your adeptship which I tell you you can gain by this diligence being mindful of all other requirements of the balancing of the threefold flame and you will find that until you step from the outer periphery of the flame to its white fire core your own holy Christ self does stand in the center and will release an answer to your call as much as the law will allow as much as it is safe for you to have in your aura given your present attainment though it has been said before I say it again if you desire to save the planet to spread abroad the teachings of the ascended masters then beloved seek new levels of attainment and recognize that the whole man must rise as one and thus if you have this level of attainment in all things but down here there is a little dirty sock in the corner that you haven't taken care of until you have done so it holds you back therefore take care of those little details in your life and see how you are liberated from those details in your life and how the violet flame angels will then take care of them and the elementals will live to serve you now beloved ones I seal this portion of my message in the violet flame and I ask you to be seated in this interim of Omri Tas dictation I would like to explain to you the particular requirement of this 15 minutes of violet flame the 15 minutes counts for the actual mantras given the violet flame decrees it does not count for the invocations or the inserts because the energy is being multiplied by the momentum you have on the violet flame and it is being multiplied by your magnetizing the violet flame from the causal body of Omri Tas. and your magnetization is by your heart your love your momentum and the flow of the word thus the violet flame begets the violet flame the violet flame implements your call your insert your invocation so this is the precisely the way in which you should clock each 15 minute session Now, beloved ones, I would report to you on certain meetings that have been held by the Darjeeling Council in consideration of this dispensation. For I have also sought the advice of many ascended masters serving with you and also the advice of the Lords of Karma concerning those things that are weighing upon planet earth ready to become physical in the coming weeks and years thus based upon my communion with my heart and my God and the understanding given to me by my colleagues this has come to pass as I have explained once accomplished therefore and accepted by our father El Moria the beloved the illustrious 
Lean forward in his chair. His arms folded on the round table. And he said to me, Well, most noble and beloved Omritas, since you have determined to do this, therefore we, the members of the Darjeeling Council, have also considered what should be our response and what we should take of this opportunity that will be afforded us jointly by yourself and our chilas. Then after a long pause, El Moria confided to me and the others gathered that the greatest desire of his heart in this hour, based on the greatest need, would be to see his messenger in embodiment, so cloaked by and protected with this violet flame, as to deliver to the people of this nation and the world, if possible, Such a delivery of the message of the Goddess of Liberty as went forth in her Independence Day address. And he explained that inasmuch as there is nary an individual having the backing and the power and the protection of the Great White Brotherhood in this nation, that is willing to be outspoken to place one's life on the line and to point to the real causes of the ills of society and the economy. It therefore must fall upon the one who can receive our blessing and protection. For the candidates are answerable to the moneyed interests, to the power elite, manipulators to organize crime and to the international bankers and when they attempt to challenge that system whether in church or state they are swiftly assassinated and therefore here we have one apart from the intrigue and the schemes of politicians who can be rather the conscience of a nation. This then, having been said, provoked another discussion among the inner circle present. And of course, lastly, when we were once again of one mind that this must be tried, both messengers were called and presented with the plan. Unhesitatingly, their answer was, it must be done, we shall do it if we have the backing of yourselves and of the keepers of the flame." Thus, beloved hearts, I come as the spokesman for the Darjeeling Council this afternoon to tell you that the avenues have been opened through the means of video and radio. For the messages of the flame of freedom that speaks from the heart of the Goddess of Liberty to go forth to be spoken and to be heard everywhere where there are sponsors. There is no greater desire in the heart of the messenger this day than to continue to focus on, to analyze, 
to organize and to expose the plots, the conspiracies in every area of life, and also to propose both the God solution and the human solution to the equation. Thus that others might receive the spark and become the spokesman of the goddess of liberty. We will do our part and the messenger will do hers. Now it is a proposal before this body, this larger body of the council of this movement who may determine if they desire to use and sponsor the messenger for this purpose. My heartfelt thanks to you, beloved ones. The Darjeeling Council stands to bow before the light of God within your hearts, before the commeasurement of your souls and your own perception of reality juxtaposed by unreality. To the perceptive ones, we extend our hand and with you our love to the messenger. We shall take you at your word, signed and sealed by the writing of the pen of your hearts this day. And we shall begin, we shall not relent, we shall not turn back. Until the words are spoken, the message is delivered, and the violet flame momentum that you build becomes that force, irresistible, the bursting fire of freedom to action, responsible, honorable, peace-filled action on the parts of millions everywhere. Remember that in the great tradition of the land, individuals with unique ideas have often caused major parties to alter their platforms when a single idea became backed by the people and a single individual became the voice and conscience of a nation. Therefore, my beloved, realize that there is a time and a place for the interpretation of scripture as in the everlasting gospel hour. There is a time for prophecy delivered in dictations of the ascended masters also now on cable television. There is a time for others to speak as spokesmen for freedom and liberty in the interview talk show format. But there is also the time for the one who bears the mantle of Saint Germain to speak as a prophetess in the nation and to point to the star of the Mother Liberty as the one who is able to save so great a nation unto so great a salvation. Once again, we turn to you for the ordering, the organization, the hands, the hearts, the team, the great team that can make this effort God victorious for you, for me, and bring the return to this earth 
of a golden age civilization by the preeminence of the violet flame. Violet flame servants, violet flame masters, such as yourselves, becoming and manifesting even now. To all of you we say that our end is the saturation of earth in the violet flame for the balancing of karma, for freedom to every nation, and for the liberation of the soul to challenge the tyrant fearlessly. Beloved ones, with so much love, with so much oneness of heart, I seal you now in today's victory and tomorrow's fruition of that victory. In the name of Mother Mary, are we not blessed? Yes. Beloved ones, in honor of the 144,000 priests of the sacred fire of the violet planet, let us sing the march of the 144,000. Praise El Moria, praise the Darjeeling Council, praise our beloved Father. Praise Omri Tas, praise beloved El Moria, 
Praise the Darjeeling Council. Praise our beloved Father. Thank you, everyone. Won't you be seated? I cannot tell you how grateful I am to be here with you today and how grateful I am for your presence. I want to tell you that this dictation to me and this action is the answer to a prayer that I've been praying for a number of years since I went stumping across America. It was a very strenuous challenge for me to go stumping. It was the most difficult thing I've ever done, I think, in many lifetimes. El Moria called me to do that. And when it was all said and done, and we had done Ghana, Liberia, England, and America and Canada, St. Germain explained that it was one of the final initiations be before he could give me the assistance in the final balancing of my karma, which had to come about so that I could be his servant in the sense that he wanted me to be his servant in these decades of this century. And what I observed from that stump was that the Holy Spirit, the Masters, could use me as a vehicle to draw into the light souls they could not reach any other way. People would come to those stumps right off the streets. They would see a poster come in, hear the message, and either be it our center or Camelot the next month or the next year or five years later and tell me, I've been coming ever since I heard you. And so I have been praying to God to know how that St. Germain and El Moria would sponsor me ever again to go stumping. And they have declined to do so because they have said the world has changed and there are forces abroad of malintent. Individuals can be used because of their drugs or their fanaticism and we will not send you stumping. In fact, I have not even been allowed to hold a public conference in a major city. And so I have been a bit downhearted about this situation, to say the least. So I can see now the perfect answer that one can speak through television and some guy can shoot the two, but... <laughs> I won't happen to be standing there. <laughs> it's a wonderful opportunity to divest myself of the burden of the Lord's Spirit on my heart, especially in the face of what we hear the candidates saying, what they're afraid to say, what they don't say, what they should be saying, what the people should know, what the people want to hear. And as I was talking to one of our friends the other day, encouraging him to run for office, he must have given me 25 reasons why he wasn't going to run for office. He said, well, I might get shot. I might not win. I might not raise the money. You, have, you know, you have to raise a lot of money. Um, it wouldn't do any good anyway because I can't change the system. It wouldn't make any difference. And on and on and on and on. And I thought to myself, to be able to do this, you have to have the sense of having nothing to lose. Now, I have nothing to lose. He was saying, well, it would change my whole life. I would lose my livelihood. Uh, you know, I'd have to stop doing what I'm doing and all these things. And I thought to myself, None of these arguments apply to me. I don't owe anybody anything. Nobody's funding me except you. <laughs> the press has taken all their shots. The enemies have taken theirs. They've never had the power to create me or to undo me. 
The press, the media hasn't made this organization, and they are powerless to undo this organization. They just carry on or they don't carry on, but it makes little difference to the masters. They see to it that their chilas are here. I'm not tied to any system. I don't own stock in any corporation. I don't have any financial uh, disclosures to make. <laughs> the money I have, I use for my needs or I give to the church. In fact, I'm not tied to anybody but you. So I don't have anything to lose. We have everything to gain. It's a perfect thing to do. It's the time to do it. Thank you, beloved ones. Won't you be seated? It has never been my desire to put the burden upon this body of funding our way to fame and fortune on prime time television. Honestly and truly, I just don't see it. I think cable television is fine because it's free. Maybe satellite television would be okay. I don't quite understand how it works, but I think it works whereby you pay a certain fee to get it on the satellite and then locally you pay a certain fee for that particular program to show uh, on a station in your area. We have found by producing quality cable shows that cable stations demand them because they, they fill in their programming. They like our shows amazingly. <laughs> they even show them two and three times a week the same show <laughs> I always hope I won't turn on the TV set when I'm on <laughs> I've never seen myself actually on television television and I hope I won't. <laughs> what I think the key to our victory is, is expand, expanding the broad base of this movement with very dedicated light bearers who will see to it that we are on every cable television station in North America. And when it becomes not a burden, but perhaps easier because of the sheer numbers of people involved, we can consider uh, the next level of, of formatting that might not appear to us to be such a hefty burden if we are a greater number uh, supplying small contributions. But anyway, I'm not sure how it's going to get there, but I do know that I'm going to work very hard and make a, a very best effort to be worthy of your sponsorship and the Masters, to be worthy of beloved Saint Germain, and to know that what the Masters want the people to hear will be said, and then to realize that it is the work of the angels of God, and yes, of the Chilas, to be certain that the people get the message. I haven't actually considered what to do about one of the burdens of my heart, which is becoming an increasing burden, and that is the, the preachers I see on television on Sundays with their foul messages and their betrayals of the people and their 
falsehoods, occupying prime time round the clock with everybody watching, and not one lone voice giving the truth in that prime time. It's not just a watered down message, it's a message that's a lie, and it's limiting the nation. I know that Keepers of the Flame in Bozeman would have had to pay a thousand dollars to have Jesus' one-hour dictation on the air uh, in Billings. One time. And that was their whole budget for the next year. And I said, you know, it's, uh, it's an ungodly thing. We have to find some other way to accomplish this. I think this ought to be the first subject of our Violet Flame session, which we're about to hold with great eagerness. I'm very, very gratified that so many of you responded and put Jesus' uh, Easter message on the air all over America. And I'm gratified that Gautama Buddha's Wisak message has also been on the air. He actually told me before he gave it that he was dictating that message for America and that he wanted it on the air. You know, I don't have a sense of time when I'm taking a dictation, so I'm always surprised at how long or short dictations are. But Gautama Buddha's message, if I'm not mistaken, was 52 minutes, allowing enough time for an opening and a close and a song. <laughs> so, we begin a bold adventure, as Maury would say. I ask for your prayers, your support, your protection. We've been putting out videos for one year, and I can remember when I announced that at Camelot, how I had that, that little sense of, of the feeling in my heart that I was giving up my last point of intimacy in my life, which is my relationship to God at the altar, that this was now going to be seen by anyone every, anywhere who could do anything or say anything while watching me. That precious altar, our precious pictures, our precious sanctuary would now be seen by anybody and everyone. And I realized it had to be, and I'm glad it was done, but it was a, that moment's sense of, of giving up that last giving up of something precious. And I also felt, as I said to you then, how would I survive under that kind of attention of so many millions of people with so many different opinions? I think I must say it hasn't been easy, but the tremendous strength of the Brotherhood and your decrees and your love has been far greater than the opposition itself. And with that experience of a year behind me, I feel dauntless in the very presence of your courage and your love and the Master's support. And I want to thank you with all my heart. Thank you. Please be seated. Right now I know you must be beginning to think about food. <laughs> it takes me a while to come back and remember that I'm hungry. 
I would like at this time, since we have not taken uh, collections except one or two at this class, uh, to pass the hat for the support of our being the spokesman for the Goddess of Liberty and for these teachings to be on video. We have here a mother and son team, Marion and Frank Black, who are spearheading this video cause. They have a few words they'd like to say about it, and also some marvelous statements made by people who call in when they have seen the videos. So if you'll come quickly and give us what you'd like to say. Good evening. Good afternoon. <laughs> we, uh, we had the definite privilege of uh, being able to stand before you today and tell you how you can get involved in our cable outreach. And I would like to say that this has been going on for a year, one year, and we came here last year with one tape and one cable station in Connecticut. And now, thanks to your efforts and, and great efforts and the hard work of the staff and mother and Everybody that's involved in this cable outreach, we have over, we are in over 450 cities, and we have, uh, we are in over th uh, 33 states at this time. So the masters have been working on this for quite some time. And what we're here to tell you is how easy it is to do. Because it is. It is very easy, and it is your right as a citizen of the United States to get involved and to express your our, you know, freedom of speech. What you have to do is you take our videotapes that we have prepared. We have, as you've heard, uh, three different series. We have an Everlasting Gospel series. Uh, we have hour shows and half-hour shows. We actually have uh, a, this, a series consists of 13. We have two series of half-hour shows. We have one series of hour shows of Everlasting Gospel. We have a Coming Revolution and Higher Consciousness series, and we have our Summit University Forum series. All these are special made for different applications. Now what you do is you take the tapes and you walk into your cable station and you say, hi, I'm a, I'm a local resident of this area and I would like you to play this tape on your station. And they say, okay. <laughs> And, uh, and what, that's really about all it takes. Now, what you might have to do is, is uh, sometimes there's an access cost. In other words, for the first tape, they say, well, it's going to cost you $15 and for us to view the tape and make sure that there's nothing on there that uh, we don't want on there. You know, like you're not endorsing any political candidates or, or you're not being, uh, you know, you're not swearing or anything like that on the air, which we don't do. So we don't have any problems with that. Now. Um, the thing is, is that once you've got your access time, you can keep it, pretty much. You get it once, and we at Camelot work very hard to ensure that you get more and more tapes. And we have lots and lots of shows that are already made. And the stations, as Mother has said, they do love our programming, and they like our programming, and they're exciting when we have a new series. And, and they're more than happy to play our tapes, and they're more than happy to see the people get involved in public access. That's why public access was created. It's, it's a community access. It's for you to, to get said on television what you want said. It's for the voice of the people. And, and so the public access stations are very, very excited about our tapes, and that people are, are getting involved in doing it. Now, we have, a, we have a booth in the bookstore, a cable television booth. and. Um, all you have to do is walk in there and you can talk to my mom or some of her <laughs> friends and um, they'll tell you all about how to get involved and, and do that. Can so, I read some, yeah, please do. I'll read some um, comments that have come back from the programs. This is from Manchester, Connecticut to Elizabeth Clare Prophet. The Lord has truly blessed you. I find your teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ to be a wonderful and so very understandable. I look forward to each weekly telecast and wish, wish we could view your church service more than once a week. Marina Del Rey, someone there, after five years of boredom and cultural depravity, I, <laughs> I saw Elizabeth Clare Prophet on television one evening and felt like God was reminding me that I'm supposed to be doing something, even though I did not know what that something was on an outward level. 
Thank you. <laughs> Santa Monica. She's fantastic. I think she's very inspirational and I enjoyed it. I was especially touched because of the healing of the little children. From someone in Honolulu, Hawaii, to Elizabeth Clare Prophet, you certainly have a unique ministry and I would like to learn more. I wish you could speak about or publish more about the flame. I very desperately want to learn more about this and I appreciate you rushing this free literature to me. <laughs> thousand notes. She was wonderful. We had her for a full hour. She's lovely. I love her program so much. The program is beautiful. My, <laughs> my husband was so very sick and we wanted the program telling us, we watched the program telling us about wheatgrass and all the vitamins and she just fit in. I want to get the wheatgrass and the vitamins. I know God gives me my strength and health to look after my husband. He's in his 80s and I'm 80 in November. Yes. <laughs> From Glendale, this is great. She gives the meat, the essence. <laughs> she gives the meat, the essence of who we are, not just the bones. I was a ho I was a hostage rescued from Iran, and her politics are okay with me. <laughs> tell you that um, the Summer University Forum has really just begun and the calls are starting to come in now from all over the country and everyone is saying what can I do you know they really are They're saying we want to do something you're doing something we appreciate Mrs. Prophet and she's speaking the truth and we've never heard it on television it's so rare and so <laughs> it's really amazing it's really wonderful so my answer is um, the tapes are available we now have them put into radio cassettes that some university forum is here and these, everyone can use these. They can get it on the radio, the people calling in can get it on the radio, they can rent the videotapes if they can't buy the videotapes, play it to their communities. Whatever you need, we have ready now to provide you. Mother has provided it, so that's really exciting. I is want you to know that, that Mother and the Masters have made every sacrifice there is and every opportunity to get these tapes to you at, at the least cost to us. For an hour tape, it's $33 for one hour show. For a half hour tape, it's, it's $25 for a half hour show. Now these, these are three quarter inch cassettes, they're the big cassettes, they're broadcast cassettes, they're not the little ones. And it's the same, same cost for the half inch. Now these tapes, uh, you know, this, this, this really should provide you with the opportunity to take, to take the tapes and run for it, to take the ball and go. And, uh, and get them out. Now what people are doing is they take one tape and they take it to a cable station and say, play this. Then that tapes through, they pick it up and they take it over to another cable station and they say, play this. <laughs> Meanwhile, tape two is at the first cable station and tape one is at the second cable station. It's called bicycling. And you can bicycle your tapes all over uh, your city. There's several, several, you know, most big cities have, have uh, several different cable stations. So, you know, the, through cable access, you can reach many, many, many people. And, and believe me, the media is opening up, as the Masters have said, in all areas, from satellite to, uh, up and cable to various access of more information. People are getting very discouraged with the broadcast medium and with all the garbage that's on the television. And it, it's a, it's, it is really broadening the communication basis of the United States, and that's where we fit in because people are wanting higher quality programming, they're wanting information, they're wanting news shows, all the statistics point to people wanting to know more about what's going on. And we've got the tapes, by God's mm -hmm. grace, and you guys have the drive to get them out, put them on the air. So please, please come see us. If you want to, be, if you want to help in this, you know, it, I can truly tell you uh, that it is an absolute joy and blessing to be a part of uh, this access and everybody who's been involved in it, they've called up and said I can't tell you how my life has changed since I've started getting these tapes on the air I'm really doing something for God and it feels good you know so uh, we wish you the best what I would like is for all of you who have done the work out there to come and help me tell everybody that comes up how to do it because you're the ones doing it 
You can tell me how you did it and how easy it is and how wonderful it is. You've all really been great. So may you pass every test. <laughs> God bless you. Oh, you, you mentioned the fact that we have now taken our TV shows and put them on audio cassettes and half hour and one hour sequences. These cassettes are just six dollars and fifty cents and contain either an hour show or two half hour shows. You can put them on radio stations of colleges and universities. Uh, radio stations otherwise are very expensive. I mean they are crippling, they are too expensive. But you can try campuses near you and of course both the video which you can also have for the same price in the half inch as three quarter inch half inch for your home and group use three quarter for the air either video or audio are both good for discussions with your friends inviting people over uh, carrying them along playing them in your car when you have things like that available it's amazing the people that you find who are interested in seeing them and you can open the doors of your teaching center study groups or your home you don't have to be an authorized study group or teaching center to do this just open your home and invite people that you might not think about inviting all the way from Christians to followers of moon or Scientology or the Hare Krishnas people who are interested in America and who have a glimmer of understanding that all is not well you can go to left-wing groups, you can invite retired uh, uh, Vietnam veterans uh, who have a burden that needs to be alleviated by our great love and support. When there is calamity in your town or when, like the passing of the Marines, you look up the parents and families of people who really need some consolation and start to feel yourselves ministering servants in your community. Uh, we're not preaching to the choir. This information is for not us, but for all the other people that don't have it. So now you can have any video show in your possession for 650 for one or two shows. And uh, that's the cheapest we can produce them. And they'd be cheaper if we could make them cheaper. But that, that's what it takes to get them to you. And it includes a, a small amount of overhead. So I think that uh, it shows that the message is desired, people are hungry for it, and there's millions of people just like you and me. We're not different. In fact, a lot of people have the same yearnings, the same inner beliefs, the same reasoning that has brought us to this altar of the Great White Brotherhood. And I don't think the victory of this nation and this earth is so far away. Almoria says that's a pun because mighty victory is going to be dictating to us uh, in the very near future. <laughs> uh, I want to thank you, Marion and Frank, and the whole department of personnel, research, everybody behind the scenes that makes possible what we are doing. It's a tremendous team, and there's Still room for more team members. Absolutely. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, beloved Omritas, beloved El Moria, the Darjeeling Council, we present to you in this hour the love offering of these hearts that is pure love, pure devotion to the living word, to the cause of the great white brotherhood and freedom in America and on earth. 
Almighty God, I pray that this very substance of their hearts might be the leaven also by their purity and love for the transmutation of all of the money in this nation and all other nations. Let it be the leaven also for the healing of the economy by its very physical presence moving through the system. O oh God, in the power of love that is consecrated this offering by these hearts, so also bless and consecrate the money of every nation that it not be manipulated and not be used to filthy and greedy purposes. Let it be stripped of all greed, let it be stripped of all darkness, and let it be redeemed from its abuse in the drug trade, in the mafia, in organized crime, and so forth. I call for the cleansing of the planetary body money supply, and I call now for the blessing of this gift and the givers, these purest hearts and dearest hearts, who have given what they can give, all they can give, and if they had more, they would give it, O oh God. And therefore we call for the violet flame multiplication of this supply for that one pointed purpose of the delivery of the mandate of Almighty God and the message that belongs to the people, the message of the truth, the message of freedom, the message of liberty, and those issues that ought to be brought to mind and heart that they might know who they can vote for, who they can support, and those bills that they should encourage to be passed. O oh, beloved Samuel, beloved Saint Germain, beloved El Moria, I place myself upon the rock of Christ within you, our beloved Jesus, Gautama Maitreya, Lanello, and that Christ rock of the beloved Chilas who make this possible. In the name of the living word, we say together, Here am I, Lord, send me. 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 In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the Mother, let it be multiplied and returned to the giver tenfold for his own God victory in the dissemination and becoming of the word. In the name I am that I am, amen. You make me think of all the pots that the prophet called for of the widow and all these pots that had to be brought in, the bearers of the pots, to be filled with the oil. Well, I, for one, am going to give the violet flame for 15 minutes right here. You may join me. You can go to lunch. You can come back and do your violet flame as you please. Loving our friends, I am in me. Hear me now, I do the great for the rest of these blessings. We will check all of the language of every channel. Light my day by every name, rule around the world to make the world. Saturate the earth and the people, do the things for being in the dining room. I am a certain God of the same man, and I'm a certain God of the same man. Wait, wait, wait. 